Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be reviewing a fragrance from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and it's called Cubia. Before I get into this review, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for your constant support. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and activate that notification bell. And without further ado, let's get into this review. This fragrance was sent to me by So Avant Garde, where you can purchase this fragrance among, amongst other Tiziana Terenzi. They have many niche brands and many luxury brands. I will put a link to their website down below so you can check them out. They have promotions running, they have specials. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really heavy, you guys, but how beautiful is this? This is stunning. This was sent to me by So Avant Garde. Thank you so much, So Avant Garde, for sending this gem to me. And this looks like something that truly belongs in the museum. This is from Tiziana Terenzi's Sea Star Collection. There are four fragrances that are part of this collection. This is the first one I have gotten my hands and my nose on. Let's just take a moment. So this opens up and you see the fragrance right there. It's seriously museum quality. It looks like a piece of art, jewelry piece. Now, this is what the bottle looks like. It's a beautiful turquoise, which screams summertime beach, and it has the gold sea star. I can't get over this. This smells like marine life to me. I will go ahead and read the notes. In the top, you get citruses. There's black currant and peach. In the base, you get woody notes, cedar atlas, and patchouli. So this smells salty. It's really aquatic smelling, just like the color suggests. It, it's salty, it smells very marine-like. At the same time, it's bright from the citruses. So it's that brightness together with the marine quality. And it just makes you think of a day at the beach, a very sunny, bright day. This also smells very woody. So you get these fruits on top of the woody notes and it smells a bit animalic, which is interesting because there are no animalic notes. It could be coming off from that patchouli, but I'm almost smelling the algae as if like there's algae seaweed. Like I said, marine life, it's very marine like and aquatic. I imagine sitting in a wooden boat somewhere out in the ocean and um, algae and some kind of seaweed surrounding me and smelling the ocean, the wood, the marine life, the saltiness. And this smells very unisex and this is marketed as unisex. And I also feel like it's not very feminine. It might be leaning a little bit to the masculine side, but it's definitely wearable for a female. I have been enjoying wearing this and I actually like to layer it. If I want something sweet, if I'm craving like very sweet fruits, I layer this with my Kirk from Tiziana Terenzi, which I purchased in my last haul, either Kirk or Draco. They layer beautifully with this because they're sweet, they're fruity, and they work nicely with this one. So I, I like that combination, but I have been wearing this on its own as well. And like you said, yeah, it feels uplifting. This is a perfect scent to wear to the beach or out to dinner on a warm summer day. It's just really pretty. I sprayed this on my husband and he really liked it. And it smelled really, really good on him. He was like, I'm going to be using this. You know I am. I'm like, I'm glad to share what's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. Or what's mine is mine. Just kidding. But yeah, we're going to be sharing this for sure. This could be worn by a man or a woman. And I just think it has such a uniqueness to it. And it's very unique and interesting. I have not smelled anything that smells like this. Paola Terenzi is known for combining these different notes and putting them together and creating something very unique smelling. 
I do not suggest blind buying this try before because this is not one of those mass appealing fragrances. This is not like your Kirk or Draco, which you can easily purchase and you will most likely enjoy. This is a little more complex. I have to say when I first tried it on, I had to really digest it and really get to know it because I wasn't sure what I was picking up. I wasn't sure where that animalic note was coming from that I was smelling, but it's almost like it's the marine life animalic and I have grown to really like it and enjoy it and I have been wearing this and like I said the days I'm craving something sweeter because this is not a sweet fragrance even though this has your black currant and peach this also has the saltiness which brings down the sweetness so this is not a sweet fragrance and if you are in the mood for something sweet like I said you can layer this with fruity fragrances or gourmand this is a beautiful unique scent. This is Cubia by Tiziana Terenzi. That concludes my video for today in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this fragrance, if you have tried any of them, if you have tried this one, if you're wanting to try it, just let me know your thoughts. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon. Take care.